This is Reverend Jesse Lee Peterson. He's a Tea Party activist that has appeared on the Sean Hannity Fox News show uh, several times. And he's also a founder of an organization where Sean Hannity serves as an advisory board member. This is all true. I like his resume. And so here's uh, so he's got a great resume. Right. So he's here. We, and here we go. I realize that one of the primary reasons is that it is over for America. <laughs> if we call women are taking over. <laughs> Women are taking over there and <laughs> wow. okay. watch out. Okay, he, this is true. This is a real guy from Sean Hannity. Sits on this guy's board. He's been on Sean Hannity. He's a reverend. Here we go. Hey, so-called powerful positions. They're now they're running companies. They're making decisions. And not all, not all, not all. Let me say not all. So that because he's running, running, give me a funny face now. He said not all women, right? But then he looks at another woman in the audience. Goes, she just gave me a funny face. Not all women. <laughs> when I said not all, is he a wino? I don't understand. Okay, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> but um, not all. There are some, a few out there that <laughs> logical women that can make sound decisions, but wow. most cannot. Wow. <laughs> yes. As as evidenced by the fact that they are sitting in the pews in front of you, they certainly those women are making some very bad decisions. Wow. Um. And the unfortunate thing is that they're in powerful positions. They're running businesses and, and, and things like that. And the one thing I know for sure, for without sure. a doubt, for sure, I think it's for sure. Women cannot handle power. <laughs> it's not in them to handle power in the right way. <laughs> they don't know what to do with it. And, and then secondly, it's not real power anyway. Power that the world gives you is not power. No. It's all ego building. The real and true power come from God, and God is the one that gave man the power and the authority. <gasps> yes! Oh, <laughs> my yes! God. God made me better than women, and that's not <laughs> ego. And if women get power, that's just their ego. I got God power. God gave made man better. I think he's kind of right, though, because when I have power, I don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to do with it. You don't know what to do right now. You're so stupid. I want to know what nurse uh, gave him that bottle of second all. (laughs) (laughs) He's got a little bit more. Wife and to uh, uh, spiritually guide the world in the right way to go. And I realize that men made mistakes in the past, Mm. but most men did not make mistakes in the past. (laughs) What? What? Oh, this my. is fun. And when men were in charge, things were tougher. You know, they're more solid. Men are more solid. And it's not like that anymore. Nope. And um, the one thing I realized that the world has done to women, women have been degraded. Women are now. <laughs> not, like how, not like how you're degrading them. <laughs> <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you saying that they're not good, they're not as smart. God made them inferior. It's got nothing to do with that. Women, How are women degraded, Pastor? Degraded. They have no shame. There was a woman from Georgetown University. Oh. And I know you heard about this story. She testified bef- from some, uh, before a committee and uh, about condoms and birth control and all that kind of stuff. And in her testimony, she said that women need, uh, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't have all her exact words. <laughs> she said, yeah, I don't have the facts. I don't have, I'm going to talk about this. I don't have a quote from her. I'm just going to make up some stuff. Here we go. Women need to be able to get free birth control, free condoms, and things like that. She said that it's not right that a woman can't get it, especially if they're in college and stuff like that. And she said that women in colleges spend up to $3,000 on birth control and condoms and things like that. A person? A person, per person. But this woman's and that's just there, a long I mean, weekend. <laughs> Homecoming. And they're making it, testifying about how much all the sex they're having and all that kind of stuff. But this woman sitting there testifying about how much sex they're having out of wetlock. And all these women into all this stuff with no shame. Women would not have done that in the good old days. There would have been a sense of shame about it. Yeah, you know, the, the good, old, good, old, the good days. old days when we used to hang black people from trees. Remember the good old days? Sure. Women had proper shame and you had to drink at a different water fountain. You remember the good old days when you got beaten uh, when you got pulled over by a cop and put in the back of the bus? But women had the proper shame. The good old days. You remember those good old days? I love guys who talk about the good old days. I'd love to see you back in the good old days. I'd love to see you. You and Sean Hannity couldn't ride in the same bus together in the good old days, okay?
And I, my favorite part really was the woman from the audience who says, how many individual? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> individual? Like, individual? <laughs> yes. But, but for our $3,000 for, for birth control, is that per individual? Yeah. <laughs> this is the important part. I got to get all the facts <laughs> yeah, before let, I can let me hate know women this. who use birth control. I have to get all the facts. Okay. So he goes on and on. We don't have time, but that's oh. it. Oh, that's it? You, you want me to play? I can play a little bit. That was just, enough. That was enough for me. She had no shame guys, about it. I'm like, wow. First of all, she's presenting herself. Rush Limbaugh called her a slut. And she didn't, re- she does, she didn't realize that she looked like a slut sitting there <laughs> making that type of confession. Confessing that type of thing. Oh. Yes, yeah, she didn't realize what an idiot she looked like. She didn't realize. But this guy missed her self-awareness. <laughs> This guy totally has his finger on the pulse. 